Three, two, one, action. We had mortars that would throw out huge amounts of fake sand. The same color that matched the sand in UAE and in Jordan. And this is what created the feeling of the sandworm crashing through a dune. It was very spectacular. You could see it from miles around. And there's one day when one of my special effects colleagues came to me and he said, welcome to the one ton club. We've just crossed the mark of one ton of dust on the film <laughs> in one day. Woo! That was amazing! To an outsider, to somebody not familiar with the source material nor the first movie, it would sound like we're people in Hollywood that all lost our minds. All actors who do sandworm writing on the film went to the Denis Villeneuve Sandworm Writing School because no one was in better position to teach sandworm writing than he was because he grew up with the books and therefore he would demonstrate how to ride a sandworm holding the maker hooks, which have lines that are used as reins, and the hands had to be just right. We developed some maker hooks that basically you would extend the maker hooks, you could climb onto the worm. Once you've stabilized yourself on the worm, you can shoot the end of the maker hook out that's on a line 20, 30 feet. They hook under one of the flaps of the worm, and as they pull the worm, it's sensitive to that movement, and then those become your reins. <laughs> The only thing I ask Daniel and Eth when we finish the first one is like, if there's a second one, I need to write a sandworm. And it happened. <laughs> they built this platform that was covered in this worm skin. I don't really know how to explain the texture of it, but it was kind of squishy. <laughs> You'd get on there, like, I was not expecting that personally. There was tons of fans and sand and dusts and... It was very loud. It's like, you know. It's easy for us. I just stand there, you know, but uh, it looks really cool. Good. Cover, thank you. Yeah.